wait, what? Did you realize you're actually leaving all of your connections open for everybody to see on LinkedIn? Now, in some cases, that's totally cool and you may not care. But if you're in an industry like sales, or if you're trying to hide the vast majority of connections that you've worked hard to build up from a competitor, if you're a real estate agent, as an example, this might be something you want to make sure you have turned off on your LinkedIn profile so that you can hide your connections and stop people from stealing all that hard work that you've worked to build relationships with. Let's get into that in this video. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about and how to adjust it. It's really simple to do. So let's get into that right now. If you're new here, my name is Lowell Brown. I'm from Going Social. I run a digital marketing agency in Toronto, Canada, and I love to hear from you. So leave a comment below. Let me know if this is your first time seeing one of my videos. And if it is, welcome to the community. I'm glad to have you here. If you have any questions at all about anything I cover in this video, leave a comment below. So let's actually get into the meat, the bones, the important part of this video. We're going to go into an on-screen demo now, and we're going to go into some of our profile settings. Let's get into it right now. All right, so we are here on LinkedIn. This is my LinkedIn profile. And what I want you to do is you can go up to the little circle where your profile is on the top right, and you'll see it's got a little picture and it says me right underneath that. We're gonna click that and a drop down is gonna come up and you're gonna see settings and privacy here. We're gonna click on that. And once you're on this page, you wanna go to visibility on the left side. And then what you're gonna wanna do is check this baby out right here, connections. What you've got by default, it is probably turned on. And again, in my case, it, it doesn't bother me that other people can see who I'm connected with, but let me give you a couple scenarios. All right, so let's jump out here. I wanna explain why this is actually an important setting. So let's say you're in sales. Uh, let's say you're a real estate agent and you've worked hard to build up connections. And maybe there's somebody in your organization who recently left and went to a competitor. Now, it's very possible they could go to your LinkedIn profile, see all the connections you got with certain companies and introduce themselves again through their own way. Same as if you're a real estate agent, you're working hard. Maybe you're focusing on a certain area or neighborhood that you're in. Maybe you've built up connections with a lot of uh, specific industries or professionals. Well, if you leave this on, you're leaving yourself open for a competitor to find those exact contacts and also connect with them and start to build a relationship through LinkedIn with those contacts. So if this is something that you do want to be careful of, if let's say you don't want to, you know, it's, it's kind of like saying, hey, here's my cell phone. Here's all my contacts. Go ahead and take them. Right. So in some cases, depending on your job, your position, what you're doing, that may not matter. And you may be OK with people seeing who you're connected with. But in some cases, you might be in an industry or, or a type of business or a type of role where it's important to keep those connections, those relationships private. If you don't want to be a roll, uh, a walking Rolodex, well, you got to turn this off. So let's go back into screen sharing mode and I'm going to show you how to toggle this off. OK, so in this section, you'll see that this is connection visibility. Allow your connections to see your connection list. What this means is if someone is not connected with you on LinkedIn, they won't they still won't be able to see your connection. It says right here, if you turn off this setting, only you can see your connections list. Your connections can still see any mutual connections or connections that they have endorsed for you. So if someone endorses you as, uh, let's say, being a real estate agent or, you know, some some work that you've done together and they have endorsed you through LinkedIn, somebody is still going to be able to see who that connection is. If you have a mutual connection to somebody else and they want to look up who are you connected with, they will only be able to see those um, connections. So what you want to do, if you want to turn off this privacy setting, turn this to off. Right now I've got it on. If I turn this to off now, someone wants to check out uh, my profile who I'm already connected with, 
they will no longer be able to see all of those contacts. Now, you might be asking, well, where do they see these contacts? Let me go back to my profile and I will show you. So if we go back to our profile, I wanna click under me, click view profile, and then you'll see that you can see the connections and followers. So followers is going to be somewhat public, but connections is how someone would see that. They would click on that link and then up would pop a list of connections, okay? So once again, I hope this video was helpful. It is just a toggle that you may wanna turn on or off. If you wanna keep all of those connections that you have on LinkedIn private, turn this setting off. Um, that way people can't kind of snoop on your profile, see who you're connected with, steal your contacts from you. Um, if you have other questions about LinkedIn, I'd love to hear from you. I'm always making new videos and I would love to hear if you've got any questions because that helps me think of new ideas to create content and answer your questions. So comment below and let me know if you have any other questions. And if you are interested in learning some more fun things about LinkedIn, one other thing that I did a recent video on was how to create a customized URL for your profile. So typically when you have a LinkedIn profile, it'll end, the URL ends with a series of digits. If you wanted to customize that, make it a shorter URL, something that's easier to share in an email or uh, your email signature, or just to post as a link somewhere, um, check out this video right here. You're going to see a video pop up right here and you can follow along in that tutorial and learn how to create a customized URL. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found it really informative. Stay tuned because I do have more videos coming up with LinkedIn tips. So be sure to hit like below, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you get notified the next time I release a new video. And again, there's more coming up real soon. And check out some of these other videos that I got coming up right after this one. I know you're going to love them and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much.